Welcome to another video of my channel, No IT. You'll find reliable tech guides over here. Don't hesitate to check them out and subscribe to my channel if you're new. In this video, I'll be talking about a very good app for working and studying on your computer. It's called Be Focused. If you want to know how I searched for this app and what this interface is, check my other video on Alfred. It's an amazing app for boosting your workflow. So let's go ahead and open this Be Focused app. It's great for organizing your work or study time. So over here, this is the interface of the app. It appears in the menu bar of the Mac. So this app is based on the Pomodoro technique, which was developed by a student for organizing your study time into intervals. It can also be used for work and other tasks, of course, not just studying. So uh, each interval is basically 25 minutes long. And between each interval, there is a five minute break. Um, so in this app, it's exactly the same. There's a 25 minute work interval and five minute break between in each interval. And I find it to be a really good way to study because number one, it helps you to know how much time you've spent on the task and it helps you to stay focused as you can probably infer from the name of the app. And yeah, so below, as you can see, it even shows you the number of intervals you've completed throughout the day, you can set a goal for the number num for the number of intervals you'd like to complete in a day. I've set it to 12 and right now it shows zero because I have completed zero intervals. You can press play to begin the interval and you can press pause to uh, stop it for some time. If you might have to go somewhere or do something else, you can skip the interval as well. Now, at the moment, I can't show you how the interface looks like when it's uh, time for a break because I would have to complete the entire 25 minutes. But basically, instead of a red color, there's a green color. And um, also in settings, you can control the amount of time you would like for your break. You can actually do a lot in settings. I'll show you later on in the video. So this is the main interface. And... Um, Let's move on to the next interface. Oh, I actually forgot to add that you can enter the task name as it's suggesting at the top. I totally forgot to tell you about that. It's, of course, one of the important things. So you can enter any name that you would like for your um, task, such as maths revision, um, anything else to help you uh, remember what task you are on if you're a forgetful person. Anyway, this is the next interface, the task list, and it has two tabs, to do, which means any task that you are currently doing. You can press the plus button, as I just did, to add a task and name it right then and there. You can add multiple tasks, and on the side, it shows you the number of intervals you have completed for each task. Next is the Done tab, which shows you all the tasks that you have completed. You can scroll down to see all of them. It even shows the number of intervals for each task. Then there's this Back button, which takes you back to the task which you were uh, previously on. And it will immediately start the timer as soon as you press the Back button. Now over here, there's a small cog, which shows you the different settings such as reports, settings, about, uh, upgrade to pro if you don't want ads, and quit. So let's look at reports. Reports basically gives you an overview of all your tasks. You can even choose specific tasks uh, from this panel over here. I'm just going to go with all tasks. Then you can choose a period. Uh, you can set a custom period or previous month, this year, all data. So it's going to show you a bar graph of all your work. It'll show you some numbers on top, such as your work intervals, skipped work intervals, completed tasks, and the entire duration of your work. Then it even shows you a pie chart, which I find really interesting. And it helps you to know better on what tasks you spend the most time. That's why I really like this app. Now let's move on to settings. Um, here are the general settings. For example, if you would want this app to launch at the startup of your computer, you can choose whether you want this to be on and off. Um, then there's if you want to show the timer in the menu bar, 
as it's showing right now over here. You can choose if you want it to be seen in the menu bar or not. Also, you can tick if you want uh, the app to skip your break automatically if it's idle. For example, you don't press the play button of the break, so it's just going to skip it. You can even auto start the timer if you want, or you can choose to show the task other. For example, over here it's um, going to show the task other automatically without adding it. I don't see the purpose of this usually, so I put it off. Then below are some shortcuts which you can use to start the timer or stop the timer. The next tab is intervals. This is an important uh, tab of the settings because it allows you to set the duration of your work interval, your break duration, your long break duration. You can even choose after how many intervals you want a long break to be triggered and you can set your oval, overall target. I've set it to 12 intervals. Then there's notifications and sounds. So you can choose what sound you would like when your work interval is completed. I've chosen alarm clock. Then you can choose the sound for uh, when your break ends. And if you complete all your intervals, for example, you complete all 12, you can put the notifications on for that if it's 12 out of 12. And you can choose the notifications sound level which I assume would be better if it was full. And that's it. Those are all the settings. I hope you found this app to be useful. Oh, also another thing, you can switch between tasks using that button over there. Just showing you that the app appears in the menu bar if you're confused where to find it. So that's all. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to share it with others and click the thumbs up button if you found it useful.